हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग और डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग फ्रीडमेन इक्वेशंस दे फॉर्म एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन कॉस्मोलॉजी रिगार्डिंग यू नो इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड योर हबल कॉन्स्टेंट्स और योर एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ योर यूनिवर्स एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स रेड शिफ्ट एंड मैनी मोर थिंग्स लाइक दैट Uh, the Friedman equations uh, here that I will derive follows from the Robertson-Walker metric. Uh, this metric is what uh, it's like uh, a saying: you have in your cosmology, you assume that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic. So, in whichever direction you look, you find it to be similar, or uh, you find it to be सेम सो दैट्स वट दिस मेट्रिक होल्ड्स इन इट सेल्फ इट्स रियली मोटिवेटेड एंड नॉट डिराइव फ्रॉम सम लॉज और थिंग सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सी सो फॉर दैट आई विल बी नीडिंग सम ऑफ द फॉर्मूला सो दिस इज द यू नो आइंस्टाइंस फील्ड इक्वेशन दिस इज जस्ट द मेट्रिक सो लेट्स सी दिस इज द Uh, Ricci uh, Ricci uh, tensor and this is the Ricci scalar curvature where capital R is just R mu nu R mu nu where R is the Ricci tensor and this T is the uh, stress uh, energy uh, tensor so let's see uh, here and uh, here you have uh, the second in the second point you have this uh, the riemann curvature tensor which is a 1 3 tensor as you can see and which is written in this way in terms of those connection coefficients or christoffel's symbols uh, this i have already derived in one of my previous videos uh, this is something new that i will be showing here uh, this is that the fact that uh, uh, your curvature given uh, given a surface uh, what shape does it holds is shown by the riemann curvature tensor or it can also be shown by or it is uh, it gives a good interpretation from the metric the metric is a zero to symmetric tensor which needs to be non degenerate and all those things so the metric uh in this case the lorentz metric uh will or this metric will be different it will be robertson walker metric will give the necessary uh, shape but the shape will also be given by this and uh, one of the point that we say is that these are connection coefficients but uh, when you obtain these connection coefficients from the metric these are called the christoffel symbols uh, and for that for fixing your christoffel symbols you need uh, absence of torsion which in one of my previous videos i have shown uh, this absence of torsion is required and you require these these two conditions uniquely fixes the christoffel symbols in terms of your metric coefficients so given these two things you can just write them so i have written here i have written in this cyclic way you can choose other ways and so a b c b c a and then third one is uh, a uh, c a b so g a b c is written in this way which is just the expansion uh i think uh, it is uh, we uh, you know this uh, but uh, let me just uh, do one of them so this uh, ag bc will be as there is a then i will need del a which is a del del xa where xa is the chart map gbc i need minus star is the christoffel and i need g now if i need to find b the last index will be a 
if I need to find B, I put B here, I put I here, but I need to sum over the B, so I put a C here. Then if I need C, I put I here, now I need to sum over C, so I put like this. So this is some easy way to remember these things. So that's what I have done here. I have written these uh, three terms here. You can see one, two, three. I do one plus two minus three is also zero. Now you can see the necessary algebra here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine terms where this is three, three are nine terms in total. And then you can see certain terms to be cancelling. Like uh, I have not shown here, but the symmetry of the metric along with the uh, this thing, along with absence of torsion will cause these two to cancel. I can see if you have a AB here. Uh, let me see. So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, this cancels with this you can check that when only one this will remain um, Is there anything else cancelling there must not be anything else cancelling so this uh, Brings us to the next step where I have this and then finally you can uh, you can multiply on this equation on this equation you can multiply both side of this equation by uh, g uh, what i have multiplied let me just check so you have a i here i have put it to k so i must have multiplied by g k c i have multiplied by g k c or g c k both are same because of the symmetric nature of the metric uh, and then you know that g i c g k C is just delta K I and I have used the fact to replace the I here by the K and then I get this. So I again write this formula down which I have written in the previous uh, with the previous page. So this is the this is a very important formula. Now here you can see the Robertson Friedman metric. So um, only the diagonal entries are non-zero. Rest, rest all of them are zero. So this is one. This is minus a square. One minus r square by k square. Minus a square r square. Minus a square r square sin square theta. Where t r theta phi. These are the chart coordinates. Which can be exchanged or written as 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, when I will uh, show the Christoffel symbols and this uh, the point is that the, if you use this metric and find the Christoffel symbols and then calculate the Gaussian curvature you will see the Gaussian curvature or the scalar curvature to be 1 over k square which is just which is the the point here so the point is first of all this metric adapts to a constant scalar curvature or a, or a constant Gaussian curvature. Second, the diagonal nature of the metric shows its isotropy and homogeneous nature. And after you take into account everything, you have this A square freedom. A is a function of T square. This A square freedom is the final uh, term that you associate with the metric. Uh, clearly you can see if the 1 over k square is 0 you will gain you will get the uh, the metric of a sphere so in that sense this is really a well uh, you know tailored metric so it is 4 cross 4 so that's all right now let's uh, try to calculate a few of these coefficients uh, you can uh, i tried using uh, the Lagrangian so the Lagrangian will be given by G V gamma V gamma which is just G I J uh, gamma I dot gamma J 
dot the Lagrangian and then you can find the Lagrange's equation of motion or the Lagrange equations and then try calculating the metric coefficients but they turn out to be the same difficulty you have to face the same uh, struggle as calculating them directly so let's see one one of a few of them so uh, tau 0 0 0 tau 0 0 0 let's look at here if mu is 0 then lambda has to be 0 rest all of them will die because uh, if because this is a diagonal metric so lambda is fixed to 0 you will get so everything in this three indices, one index, two index, three index, for each of the three terms will be zero. But the zero's derivative, uh, so this zero zero element is a constant term. So its derivative anyway will vanish. So t zero 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 will be zero. Similarly, t zero one one. So again, lambda can only be zero because mu is zero. Uh, and this is a this is a diagonal metric so you see uh, i need 0 0 if you put lambda 0 and these two same then you turn out to be getting terms of this step i have not said one thing that is g 1 1 2 is just that del del you can look uh, you can see it so 2 is uh, 2 is this so del del theta of g11 so that is one uh, convention so uh, so uh, you see uh, now you can just calculate your terms here uh, this this minus this will give you something this then you can do the next term like that you can calculate a lot of terms i have here done some of the calculation but they are not uh, the complete calculations in the next video I will uh, directly give these to you and then we can uh, try deriving the Friedman equation which will just be very easy manipulation of the uh, scalar Ricci uh, of the scalar Ricci tensor and the not scalar Ricci tensor scalar Ricci curvature and of the Ricci tensor so that's all for this video